Hello everyone, welcome to another Dilo305 video. I am your host Dilo305 and today because it is NBA play-in, uh, the start of the NBA play-in, I want to get some opinions and thoughts and share some notes with my good pal uh, BC0. You might know him from the previous video that we did. Uh, we're going to go over our comparisons of the preseason of of how the season went when we made our predictions in the preseason and then after that we're going to talk about who we think is going to win each matchup and eventually win the NBA Finals. So with that said let me bring in my guy BC0. Alright BC0 we are starting so uh, how are you doing BC0? Welcome again. amazed at how bad we did with the Knicks. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, it, yeah, it, as you can see here, well, they can't see it yet, but uh, let me switch over. There you go. So as you guys can see here, Knicks, we both had the Knicks 15, and where are they at? Number four, right here. Yeah, the, the Knicks played a lot better than a lot of people gave them credit for, but I think part of it is because the East is really bad. Yes, like for example, Indiana they did bad compared to last year, but because of the coaching change, I wasn't that surprised. And they, uh, they, they had some injuries. Washington played out of their mind. Yeah, Washington uh, played around the same that I thought they would play. I have them seventh, and you Chicago, had them. Like, had oh yeah, Chicago. I thought they would have been Chicago better. Chicago just under. I mean, I had Chicago at thirteenth. Well, but, I had them at eleventh. Which is where they finished. But I thought they would have been better with their addition of Vucevic. I think, but... I think Toronto is the team that we look at and it's like, how? How did how did you go 27 and 45? Yeah, because we had them six. Oh, I had them six. You had them seven. And but keep in mind, we did these before the season started. Exactly. So, like, you know, the Nets didn't have the big three. Uh, the Celtics were healthy. The Pacers were healthy. Uh, Correct. Uh, you know, well, the Pacers were somewhat because you know they had Oladipo, and that was a whole other issue. And then Karis Levert, that was a, another separate issue. Yeah. So, and then they had T.J. Warren, who was out for most of the time. He's still we, out, by we, the way. We, we so. didn't think that Orlando would just have a fire sale, you know. Yeah, where did I have the Magic? Oh, I had them tenth. You had them eleventh, and they ended up fourteenth. Okay, I mean they weren't that off. Yeah, like if you look at if you look at our bottoms, like I did pretty well. The Pistons finished fifteenth, and I got them fourteenth. The Bulls mm -hmm. finished eleventh, I had them thirteenth. The Cavs finished twelfth, and I had uh, finished thirteenth, I had them twelfth. Right. Like you know, it's in the top half where we all where we're all garble crappy because again, this was this happened before the season started. So. Correct. I also think Boston did pretty bad. We had them rank higher, and because of issues that that were not in their control. They, you know, and then Jalen, you know, Jalen Brown getting hurt really hurt them. Mm -hmm. And also, sadly, the Heat. We both had them too, and they ended up six. But of course, well, that's for different reasons. I mean, the Heat were seven and thirteen without Jimmy Butler. Uh, mm -hmm. So I look at the, I don't look at the Heat's record without Jimmy Butler. I look at the Heat's record with Jimmy Butler, and they're oh, a correct. top four team. Oh, of course. They're easily in the top four with Jimmy Butler on the court. So, I agree. I agree. Like, you look at the Heat's record, oh, they're, they're only eight games over 500. They had a horrible start in this, that, and third. Well, they had a bunch of injuries. They had COVID issues. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they made a bunch of trades. They, you know, a lot of things happened to them, and they still finished eight games over 500. Right. And so, then and then I think I think the last thing I, I kind of noticed here, the Sixers, they're number one. And we had them five and six, respectively. Well, Doc Rivers has done a great job with that team. I'm still not mm -hmm. scared of the Sixers, honestly. Oh, no, of course. Of course. I really wish the Heat would have finished five because I wanted to play Philly in round two. Mm hmm. But, um. You get what you get. You can't get, you you can't get what control. you get. Yeah. So, we, so the Heat, they, they give themselves a tough task. They're going to have to go through Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Philly to get back to the finals. 
Yeah, but if if there's any team that could do it, it's this team. So yeah, I I mean you look at you look at the East. The only four teams that could theoretically come out of the East are one, two, three, and six. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I don't see the Knicks. I don't see Atlanta, et cetera, et cetera. But that's for that's for later on. Let me just go over to the West for a second. See how these guys did. So the West again was another cluster hell. The Lakers, both of their stars got hurt, so that was a big deal. Yeah, because uh, we had the we had the Lakers one, and well, they all the Lakers had... realistically are one if their team is healthy. But yeah. LeBron didn't play for a month and a half, and AD didn't play for three months. Yeah. So like you know, and they still finished forty two and thirty. Mhm. So the Lakers are still a dangerous team, and them at seven is very scary. Especially yeah, saw... like if they beat Golden State to get to seven and they play Phoenix in round one, that's a bad, very bad matchup for Phoenix. Mm-hmm. I mean, realistically, they could also lose lose tomorrow to the Warriors and then win play Utah round one, and that exactly. also that would also be interesting. Because mm-hmm. you could pot- so, you could potentially have a Lakers and a Clippers second round. That would be interesting. So I think the big shock in the in the West is uh hmm. the Suns finishing second. Like I didn't uh, expect the Suns to be that high. I think the Jazz and the Suns, because I had them six seven, you had them five six. And they were they were both one two. Yeah. So I think those two in general well, have made the biggest jump. Utah, like, I felt like Maybe Utah was one one player away from being that number one type seed, but when the Lakers fell off, yeah, the when, Lakers fell when off. The Lakers had hurt. The Nuggets had some injuries, and and the way that Utah started the season, twenty one and five, like, mm-hmm. it, yeah, it became holy crap. Exactly. So, who else here? I'm trying to see any other. I mean, if you look at the bottom, you look at the bottom of the West. The bottom of the West was, you know, I had Thunder 15 and Houston 14, and they're vice versa. But Houston had a fire sale. Mm-hmm. You had the Kings 15. You had, you had Houston 11, and I don't know what you were smoking having Houston 11. You know, you know, but... you, you know what it was because I thought what I because I knew James Harden was getting traded. I just didn't know where. But I thought. Since they had uh, DeMarcus Cousins, they had John Wall, they had Eric Gordon, uh, Christian Woods. I feel like they still had a competent team. I didn't think, you know, they would get rid of Cousins. They would essentially only have Olenek and Bradley, I guess, to, you know, and a bunch of draft picks. That's what's left from the Harden trade. Like, I didn't think, I didn't think they would fall off that bad. But because of that trade, well, you know, those two trades, actually. and Trades where they got literally nothing in return? <laughs> well, I mean, if they keep Olenek, I think that's fine. But I don't think he's going to stay there. But um, He's not. Like, Olenek was just playing to go somewhere else next year. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just thought they would feel a better team, even after the trade. But I was wrong. They, they just completely dumped the whole thing. And John Wall being there, not being there, wasn't helping either. So. I mean, outside of me having the Spurs in the bottom five, my, my bottom five is pretty accurate. Same with yours. Like, we both mm-hmm. had the Spurs in the bottom five, and they finished 10th. Mm-hmm. So, you know, one spot out of the bottom five. But I think we gave the. I see here we gave the Pelicans too much credit. I don't know what happened to the Pelicans. We gave the Pelicans a little too much credit, but the Pelicans also had a lot of injuries this year. Mm-hmm. So that that was a lot of a hindrance for them, especially with Zion getting hurt for a little while. That mm-hmm. slowed them down, and then he had to get back into playing shape. And by the time he did, it was already too late. And yeah, right. You know, I the one team that I gave a lot of credit, and they didn't let me down, was the Warriors. Um, the Warriors are eighth here, eight, and I had them ninth. I had them ten. I wasn't that yeah. far off. I, I was in between eight, like, and I remember when we talked about this. I was in between the Warriors being eight and nine mm-hmm. because I didn't think I didn't think Portland was that good. And, and Portland, I mean, yeah, they finished six, but they're really not that good. They really should be in the play-in tournament because 
because again, the Lakers had a bunch of injuries at the end, in the middle of the year. Yeah, but they also won that important game against the Lakers, so you have to give them some credit I, there. I mean, yes, but LeBron didn't play that game, so I don't that's really true. Care. But I mean, you still have to play the game, though. Yeah, of course, but mm -hmm. it's the same concept with the Heat. You don't look at the Heat's record without Jimmy Butler. You look at the Heat's record with Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I got you. That's why I don't. Portland is not is a pseudo six. It's not really a six seed. They they basically are gonna get a first round exit, and you know, because I don't see them beating Denver in six in in a playoff series. Right, Denver's right. Denver's too good. Mm -hmm. And that's even without freaking. Uh, and and the Jazz like them being number one. That's crazy. But they lost the uh, Spider for the year. So did they? I wonder what's gonna happen with them. Wait, Donovan Mitchell's out. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. I did not know that. Donovan oh, Mitchell's been out for a while. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I I don't keep track. I don't keep that much track of Utah. Like all Donovan I know Mitchell is got hurt. He got hurt before the Heat game. Before the Heat played played uh like the game before the Heat played Utah and uh -huh. they played him close. That's uh, when Donovan Mitchell got hurt. See, because because uh, I only know Jamal. Like for Denver, I know Jamal Murray's out. Uh, Porzingis was in and out of the lineup. Uh, yeah, Donovan Mitchell's out. Guys. He, he may get back for the playoffs, but I right mean, now, I guess he, I guess it would depend on who this first round matchup is. I mean, if they have to play the Lakers in round one, they're gonna need him. Yes, correct. Donovan Mitchell's been out for a while, so he, he needs to get back into game shape and he needs to get back quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think. Whether they play Golden State or or the Lakers in round one, because I'm, I'm telling you right now, there's I don't think there's any way that Memphis uh, beats whoever loses the game between the Lakers and Golden State. Yeah, I can see that. Like I, I feel like you're just looking at one through eight. You're looking at one through eight, is what I think. Mm -hmm. For the West, the East not so much, but for the West, definitely I think one through eight is what you're looking at. Right. Right. All right, and with that said, let us then transition over. Let me delete this. And let me put this up. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ, why do you have a Marvel 2 back? <laughs> because ESPN made it when the, when the finals happened, and I was like, yes, this is sick. I know. So, I remember. Yeah. I'm annoyed, but... Yeah. All right. So, I have the, the rankings here. Let me change this for a second. So I have the rankings. I'm gonna. I'll start off. Then just copy and paste. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Can't spell those. <laughs> no, I, I cannot. All right. So, I guess I'll start off. Like I said before, well, I don't think I mentioned it to the viewers, but I will. Well, we're gonna pick our top four here of these matchups. And also in the play, and so six matchups. If, well, seven matchups, if you, if you think about it. Yeah, so we're, we're going to pick our seven matchups. We're going to do the six playing games, and then. Yeah. Yes. So I guess I'll start off first, just, you know, to. Since, you know, I'm on this side already. Uh, I'm going to go with the playing game first. So either it's going to be the Celtics or the Wizards against the Nets. I personally. Because I want to see it happen, and because I don't believe in one team, I have the Wizards going to number seven, and which will make the the Celtics fall to a chance to play eight. Now, just quick reason: uh, the only reason why I want this is because the narrative of both Russell Westbrook and James Harden getting traded from the Houston Rockets to these two teams. Harden to the Nets and... Sorry. Harden to the Nets and uh, Russell Westbrook to the Wizards. I mean, it's like and then a long way. Oklahoma series, the series. Exactly. And then you have KD there. You have some Kyrie, some Bradley Beal. At, I mean, that's just a star-studded uh, first round. So I personally just want... I, I want to see that for sure. And also... I don't trust the Celtics right now, uh, not just because of you know the Heat beating them twice, but also because they don't have Jalen Brown. They really don't have a bench, despite what people say. They don't have a bench. 
Um, the Celtics didn't just lose to the Heat. They got the doors beaten off of them in the first game. Exactly. You don't look at the final score of that game because the Heat were kind of just playing lax at the at the end of that game. Exactly. The Celtics kind of came back, and the closest they got was the final score. So Correct. Like, yeah, so it and wasn't re- as close as the final score dictated. That game right. was over at half. Exactly. So my 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 vision of the Celtics right now is not good. I don't even feel like they're a playoff team, in my opinion. Um. So with that said, not without Jalen Brown. Correct. So now for the nine ten, uh, I have the Hornets because. Same thing, signed uh, kind of with the Celtics. I don't trust the Pacers right now. They don't have. Uh, they're not gonna have uh, what's his name, Karis Levert tonight. They're not gonna have T.J. Warren tonight. Um, I don't think they have Turner. If I if I'm correct, I'm not sure if he's still playing or not. But yeah, like their whole team is is also banged up, and I and I I feel like they they should have uh, not made it. But that's just my opinion. And the Hornets getting back Lamelo like right at that, right when the season ends, I like I just think the Hornets have a good shot to beat them, especially with all their guys you know moderately healthy. And yeah. I'm not sure if Gordon Hayward's still there or not. I'm not sure if he's yeah Gordon Hayward's still there. Okay, so um, he's not injured. All right, so uh, so yeah, Karis, I have the Karis, Hornets. Hmm? Karis Levert going into the protocol right before the right before this happened like hours before the game starts <laughs> well it's not hours but oh, like yeah. you know mm-hmm. him him going it, well yeah it, it is hours it's basically a day like it's been one day the fact mm-hmm. that he hit the protocol literally the day of the playing game has to be mm-hmm. the worst situation for indiana i agree yes um so yeah, yeah. That, that was unfortunate for them. Alright, so with that said, so the Pacers are out in my bracket. So then for the eighth seed, it's either the Celtics or the Hornets. And also, this is kind of what I want to see in the playing game. Because there's some drama behind these, these these two teams. You have Gordon Hayward leaving the Celtics to join the Hornets in free agency last year. You have a couple of years ago, Kemba Walker getting signed and traded to the Celtics. And and in return they get Terry Rozier. So I, f- I feel like I feel like this is like was destined to happen. And I feel the Celtics unfortunately will not make it. So I have the Hornets as the eighth seed. And with this, with the Celtics losing, I feel a couple of things is gonna happen in the offseason for them. Just this is like a whole separate thing, but this is the reasoning behind why I have the Celtics losing, because they need to they need to like almost start over. They need to like refresh their their whole team. They need to get rid of Danny Ainge. They may or may not get rid of Brad Stevens. They they're one hundred percent. If they lose, if they get eliminated from this tournament, they're one hundred percent trading Kemba Walker. There's not even no ifs, ands, or buts. I do not see him lasting another season there. Into the heat. <laughs> so. Uh, and I just, I just, I just think the Hornets with Gordon Hayward, Terry Rozier, they have some, some beef, and I think uh, they're gonna get their revenge on the Celtics. Um, so yeah, have them winning. So now I start my actual bracket: Sixers and Hornets. I have the Sixers winning. I mean, no contest. Uh, they may get a game or two, but I think the sister, the Sixers, are gonna win the that series um Knicks Hawks this is actually a hard one this is probably the hardest one honestly out of all the matchups uh yeah the the four five and the three six are the two hardest matchups in the in the east mm-hmm. oh you're right why put seven here it is six you tell me why yeah you're the one that wrote it you're you right you're why. right you're yeah. right uh so Knicks Hawks. Uh, I'm just doing like a quick, a quick uh, scrimmage in my head to see, to see how it will play out. I think I would have to go with. I think I have to go with the Knicks, honestly. And I didn't. I kind of don't want to for bias reasons, but I think the Knicks will actually get this one. They play one of the best defenses in the league. 
And as, as you saw earlier in my preseason predictions, I had them 15th, and then they made it all, they made it all the way up to number four. So they probably did something right. And yeah, they, they have the they have one of the best defenses in the NBA right now. Yes, They're really good. And it's all thanks to Mr. Tom Thibodeau, who I kind of bashed in the in the beginning because I I did not think that was a good hire, but they proved me wrong. It was yeah. it was great. Derrick Rose is having a renaissance. Exactly, and Derrick Rose too. And with Julius Randle emerging, I'm not sure if that's sustainable. I feel like that's like a one-year thing, maybe. maybe but we'll, we'll see. see. If 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 they do well, if they if they do well against the Hawks, then then I believe the Julius Randle thing is, you know, he he, he has he has emerged. Because I'm not I'm not there to call him you know an All Star yet, even though he did make the All Star team. I I think this is like a one-year sort of thing, you know. I agree. So. But if they if they beat the Hawks, then maybe maybe I'll go that route. Uh, Bucks Heat, of course, it's not even a, uh, a debate. I have the Heat winning. Uh, I have them probably winning in six. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, they, I got them winning six. Um, if this was still the same team from last year, I would say Heat in five. But because they got Drew Holiday, I give him I give him an extra game. So I believe the Heat. Will win in six, and I didn't. I didn't say for the Knicks Hawks, but I think the Knicks will win in seven. That would be that probably be like the only series that goes seven in the in this first round for me. Um, Nets Wizards. I have the the Nets winning. I like the Wizards, but they have a third All Star. They have a third superstar, while the Wizards only have two. So you have. You have Russell checking Irving, uh, Irving. You have Bradley Beal checking Harden, who's going to check Durant on the Wizards. Not many people could check Durant. And I think that Durant will be the X Factor here. So I have the Nets winning probably in five or six. Go ahead, BC. All right. So for me, very simply, uh, the the seven eight matchup in the East, I I, I do like Washington. Uh, I I feel like Bradley Beal is making a statement this year, and uh, it's gonna get him a huge contract. Whether he stays with Washington or he goes somewhere else, he's gonna get an enormous contract somewhere. Mm-hmm. And him as a second or even as a as a one A one B kind of thing on another team. Is just insane, and what Russell Westbrook is doing is also quite insane. Like to break a record that Oscar Robertson put up mm-hmm. is just like it's that, insane. Yeah, the fact that he had a triple double with twenty rebounds and twenty assists in the same game mm-hmm. is is absolutely nuts. And it wasn't like he scored all oh, he scored ten points. No, he scored thirty five points in that game. Yeah, he was actually he was doing everything. You can't, you can't, you can't deny how like, much talent he is. Yeah, I, I think the Wizards are just too good, and they're hitting their stride. Like I think the two teams in the East that hit their stride at the right time are the Heat and the Wizards, mm-hmm. and they're showing it right now because they're going nuts. And yeah, the Wizards lost one of their last two games, but Bradley Beal didn't play that game, so I don't really count it. Yeah, and I'm expecting Bradley Beal to play the playoffs. Yeah, Barry, you know, burying that his hamstring. Yeah, burying that his hamstrings. You know, don't give out on him. Uh, so in the 9 10 game, um, Pacers Hornets, I feel like they're both bad. I feel like the carousel avert thing is going to be too much for the Pacers to handle. And I'm going to pick the Hornets here. I did have the Pacers at first, but then when Levert went into the into COVID protocol, mm-hmm. it kind of changes. Yeah. It mm-hmm. changes everything for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, simply put, Malik Monk is having a, a career year for himself. Uh, Rogier and 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 uh, and uh, Gordon Hayward are having great seasons. You know, Hornets are just a better overall team than Pacers are without Paris Levert. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go with the Hornets there. Okay. As for the Celtics versus the Hornets, I feel like the Celtics find a way to win this game. Um, oh, okay. Um, the Hornets, they're they're good, but I still think they're a year away. Like to 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 just get in. 
And the Celtics, they've been there before. They've played in the pressure situations. All those players have. And a lot of the players on the outside of the, you know, the two that we mentioned. Mm-hmm. On the Hornets have it. So, you know, I feel like the experience will give the Celtics enough of an edge. And I think Jason Tatum will be able to do enough to get them into the into the playoffs. Okay. To, to, to play against the Sixers. That's fair. And I, I, I kind of feel like the Celtics don't want to play the Nets anyway. I kind of feel like that the Celtics are going to kind of just relax in the first playing game and then just try and beat the brakes off of the Hornets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So in my one eight matchup, I do have the Sixers winning, but it's gonna be a tough series for the Sixers. Um, I have the Sixers winning in six. Um, I think the Celtics are gonna give them more than than the Celtics are, than the Sixers are expecting. And um, but definitely the Sixers are a better team. Uh, Embiid is is MVP candidate this year. You know, Tobias Harris, uh, Simmons, so on and so forth. They, they, they've been playing out of their minds. And Doc Rivers was a great coaching pickup for them. I, oh, of course. I, I, re- I really thought that that wouldn't be that much of a thing. But I mean, it turned yeah, out to be a huge thing. Yeah, I remember we talked about it in the preseason. Like I, like I mentioned that that there's a big difference between Brett Brown and Doc Rivers. That's why I, I kind of didn't want to play the Sixers. Now, it's, now like, I don't mind playing them, but like initially... You know, they were a whole different team with uh, with uh, Doc. The question is, Doc can Rivers. Doc Rivers get over the hump again? He got there once. Yeah, we'll see. That's and a big question. He hasn't been able to get back even to the final since. So mm-hmm. like, we shall uh, see. The four, the four five matchup. I actually like Atlanta over the Knicks. Uh, I think Atlanta's okay. gonna win this in six. Uh, the Knicks are good. They play good defense, but Trey Young is playing out of his mind. And I think that's going to be the X factor is how do you stop Trey Young? He shoots the ball from like 30 feet away and makes it with ease. Right. Uh, John Collins has been playing great this year. Uh, mm-hmm. They have a great front court with Capella. Um, I, I honestly like the Hawks coming out of that series in six. Um, it, it's definitely the harder of, of all the matchups, but I, I, I'm going to give the Hawks credit where credit is due. They, they're... Uh, Ever since they had the, the the Nate McMillan change at coach, they oh yeah yeah that that was like a, a huge top, that was yeah they were a ten they were the ten seed before that and they mm-hmm. finished fifth and basically they could have finished fourth if they had, like had played it out at the end of the year right so I'm gonna I'm gonna give them that one series for sure okay uh, Heat Bucks uh, which is a rematch from last year the the real question is can Giannis find a way to be effective in the series because we've all seen bam stop him a number of times Mm -hmm. in in uh in different games let's throw away the one game where the the heat got their brakes beaten off because they came back the next night and won and jimmy butler didn't play either one of those games Mm -hmm. i don't think jimmy butler played in any of the games against he did not he did not no so that's gonna be a big difference The, the 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 heat Okay, the Heat are just a better. I feel like I, I feel like Jimmy when, Butler. Well, I'm sorry to call you out, but if I feel like when the Heat didn't play Jimmy Butler, I feel like they knew they were gonna play the Bucks in the playoffs, so they were like, you know what, we're not gonna let them get a you know a chance to scout our full team, you know. Yeah. So I think the addition of Dwayne Dred- Deadman has been huge for the Heat mm-hmm. as a backup for Bam. Uh, Trevor Reese has been great. I think mm-hmm. he's been a better Kelly Olynyk, like. Yeah, they have similar scoring numbers, but Trevor Ariza on the defensive end is just so much better. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like Oladipo would have been a good pickup if he didn't get hurt. Uh, um, if, if if Oladipo was still here, Heat in five. But I that think, you know, I think the Heat might sweep the Bucks if Oladipo was healthy. Mm-hmm. Honestly, mm-hmm. Um, the Heat they have the best record in the NBA since April eighteenth. They're the hottest team in the NBA right now. They're they're hitting their stride when they need to, and that's mm-hmm. including them losing to Milwaukee in one of the last two games. Like, correct. You know, I, I have the Heat winning again in five. Um, the Bucks, yeah, they got Drew Holiday. They're a little bit of a better team, but again, they they haven't seen a complete Heat team yet, and it's gonna catch them off guard 
And I'm going to tell you this right now, the Heat might beat the brakes off of the Bucks in game one. Just to and send the message remember, to the this is not this is, this is not like last year where, uh, where all the games were in one place. Now we're back to, you know... Home and away. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I, pro I probably wouldn't say that they'll beat the brakes off of them in the first game. I did the win, but not you know not by a big margin. It'll be I, a close game. I think game, it's though. gonna be fifteen plus. Ooh, okay. Um, Nets Wizards. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think oh, the no. Wizards take it. I think the Wizards wow. take it to Game Seven. Oh, okay, it's so Game Seven. Okay. I I think the Nets are gonna have a hard time in this matchup, and they're gonna need a Game Seven to beat the Wizards. Uh, okay. I still I, I have the Nets winning the series. Okay. However, I feel like the Nets, uh, they have a big problem. And it's, yeah, they have a big three, but they've played seven games together. Mm -hmm. So how are they going to coexist together on the court at the same time? We don't know. That's we true. We haven't seen it. We've seen it seven times. And seven. yeah, they... Uh, Brooklyn can't stop, uh, not Brooklyn, Washington really doesn't have an answer for Kevin Durant, but mm -hmm. Brooklyn doesn't have an, Washington doesn't have an answer for Kevin Durant, but Brooklyn doesn't have an answer for Russell Westbrook. For you. So this is going to be That's true. the, That's true. this is going to be the KD Russell, the KD Russ show in the playoffs with seconds from Bradley Beal and, and, and James Harden. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these games are going to be like 130 to 127. 141 to 140. Yeah, you know? so it, yeah. Then, I, it's gonna be a super high scoring series. Yeah, like I said, you have five players. You know, both teams combined, five players that can give you like 20, 20 to 30 on a given night. You know, it's just gonna be insane. I think Washington's a lot sneakier than people think. They're again, they hit their stride at the right time too. They won a bunch of games at the end of the year too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think Washington could win this series. I think Brooklyn is a little overrated still. Mm -hmm. um, and I wouldn't be shocked if Washington won the series. I'm picking the Nets, but I wouldn't be shocked if Washington wins the series. All right, fair enough. All right, let's then. You want if you want to finish the East first, or you want to go down to the West? Uh, let's go down to the West. All right. We'll finish the East after we finish the West. All right. So. For my 7-8, I have the Lakers winning because I'm expecting LeBron and AD to both play. And they're going to feel like they got embarrassed by even being in the play-in because, you know, I, I, I don't... I believe that LeBron won't say it publicly, but internally, he's like, damn, I'm in the fucking play-ins. Why? You know? So... He's going to have a chip on his shoulder. He's going to not want to play anymore after he wins this game. So I expect the Lakers to come out and uh, not totally, completely beat the Warriors. Because, you know, Steph Curry is still a thing. And he'll keep them in the game. But I think the Lakers will just overpower them at the end. So I have them winning, being seventh to play the Suns. And then I have... That 9 10 matchup. Uh, let's see. Hmm. John Morant or or Greg Popovich? <laughs> yeah, essentially. You know what? You give you give Greg Popovich to play in last year, he probably would have made it. So I think I'll have to go with the Spurs here. I, I know we said, I think we said last year, you know, like, you know, outside of this that the Grizz were a year away. I still think they're a year away. I got like I think they're missing something. They're missing like that that veteran presence that that you know that they could rely upon. Cause I think I don't think John Murray could do it himself. And plus it didn't help that uh Jaron Jackson Jr. was, you know, hurt most of the year. So and because just because Pop has been here before plenty of times, I I have the Spurs winning against the Grizzlies and then you have the Spurs and the Warriors uh, I think I have the Warriors I'm pretty sure I have the Warriors here uh, Steph Curry he's gonna ball out 
after losing to the Lakers. And I, I, I think, I just think the Warriors are going to take it, which would then probably mean that Greg Popovich will probably retire this year. Uh, because honestly, that team, like, I don't know if it's Greg Popovich or if it's, if it's like their personnel or whatever, but they need like they need some sort of shakeup. Or they could just, you know, keep doing what they're doing and just, you know, collect young assets and try to rebuild again. But they need that one player. And it may be DeJounte Murray. It could be DeMar DeRozan if he resigns. I'm not sure. But they need somebody to help them. Pop can't, you know, coach. He can't coach, you know, he can't coach uh, his, his players to this level if they don't have that one person they he needs that one person like a tim duncan or a or a manu or tony parker or even Kawhi. but you know he's not there anymore uh with that said uh jazz warriors i have the jazz winning uh i like steph curry but not not against this strong defense like the jazz but i'm pretty sure like we mentioned earlier if donovan mitchell if uh if he plays then this should be a no contest. Uh, I do give the Warriors like a game or two, but I think the Jazz will win in in five or six. Uh, Clippers Mavericks, another rematch of last year, and the same thing like we predicted last year. Mavericks are not going to win. I think the Clippers are out for revenge. They're going to try to uh, make it to the to the conference finals at least. Um, and then for the Mavericks, I guess they, they need to do something. They, they have cap space this year, so they can probably find somebody that they'll help them get them over the hump. Um, but yeah, I have the Clippers winning in... Damn, last year was what? Six or seven? Something like that? I think it was seven. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I have the Clippers winning this year again at seven. Because last year they did it without... Uh, Christoph Porzingis. They, they, they took the game to seven without Christoph Porzingis. So I think this year they'll still take it to seven with him. So I have Clippers winning that. Nuggets Blazers. Uh, I don't remember if they played last year or not. I don't think they did. But um, yeah, I have the Nuggets winning. The, the Blazers won round one and then they lost to... No, they lost in round one to the Lakers. They won the game. Oh, okay. Ball. Okay. Beat off of other games. okay. Well, I have the Nuggets winning because uh, Jokic, he's probably going to be the MVP and he's been playing really great as, ever since uh, Jamal Murray went down, which sucks, you know, torn ACL. But they got Austin Rivers, which I thought was a great pickup since Murray went down. Uh, they haven't lost a beat. And I feel like the Blazers, I don't know what it is. I think they just need to to remake that team. They can get rid of everybody that's not Damian Lillard, and I think they'll be back. But the team, the way it's constructed, I don't know what it is. I, I, I just don't like it. And Portland, yeah. Uh, I, I, I like you know, my favorite player plays for Portland. And, who's that? Uh, the boy. Um, CJ McCollum? CJ McCollum. Oh, okay. he, he's... He's one of my favorite players in the in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And he he goes about his business and he does it quietly and it's you know he he doesn't like he he's not like a big mouth. You know what I mean? He he mm-hmm. he does what he needs to do and he does it well. Right. I love that about him. Like I wish that he had a player like that like that he, oh. he was no nonsense and like they do have a player like that with Jimmy Butler, but like I mean, like as a secondary. Right, right. See, we could have had that, but you know that's that's for a different day. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I just think the Nuggets are gonna win. Uh, this would probably mean that the Blazers might blow up, starting with the coach. I think he'll get axed if they get if they get bounced out the first round. I, um, I, kept, I told you at the beginning of the year that the Blazers are gonna blow up at the at the end of this year. Yeah. Yeah, this is essentially their last chance. So, and unfortunately, I, I don't have them winning. So, uh, I think they win in. Hmm, I say six. I say they win in six. 
Dame Dollar will will give him a couple of games. Probably, yeah. yeah. And then Suns Lakers. Great story for the Suns. They went undefeated last year in the bubble, but still didn't make the playoffs. They traded for Chris Paul, made second in the West. But unfortunately, you can't stop LeBron or AD, especially if they're going to be playing in the playoffs. So, like I said, good story. They had a great season. Uh, I have the Lakers winning, though. Because now I, I just imagine the shitstorm if the Lakers lose in the first round. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a... Uh, it's gonna be all oh, LeBron's getting old, you know. Oh, eighth day, AD can't do shit, you know. Oh, bubble frauds, you know. And watch, that's exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna call them bubble frauds. Yeah. And... They do the same thing to the heat. The heat <laughs> oh yeah, the Heat lose their first round. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, like I, I, I don't think the Lakers are gonna lose though. So. Um. So yeah, I have the Lakers winning in maybe seven. I think this is a seven game series. So yeah, I got Lakers in Lakers seven. Lakers game seven on the road, that'd be interesting. Yes, that would be interesting. All right, BC, go for it. Uh, you're gonna think I'm crazy with some of the West picks, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so seven, eight, Lakers, Warriors. Uh, I'm actually picking the Warriors in this game. Ooh, I think Steph Curry is the MVP of the, of the NBA this year. Um, he put that team on his back, and mm -hmm. they where he went, they went. Correct. And uh, you know the Warriors, they they I I want to see the Suns and the Warriors. I want to see Steph Curry versus Chris Paul. That's one of the reasons why I'm picking this. Okay, this way. that's fair enough. Um, and I also want to see the Lakers Jazz in Rome. That's the other thing. <laughs> so mm -hmm. like, <laughs> right, right. Um. But yeah, I, I think the Warriors are going to find a way to upset the Lakers. Uh, I know they're going to be playing on the road, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to give the Warriors, I'm going to I'm gonna put faith in Steph Curry mm -hmm. and, and, and see where it goes. This okay. game could go either way. So I'm just, I'm taking Golden State in this situation. But I think Golden State and the Lakers will be the 7 and the 8, even though I'm spoiling the 8 already. But yeah. uh, Grizzlies, Spurs, I like the Grizzlies. Um... I think they're a lot better than people think. Mm -hmm. uh, Justice Winslow's been playing a lot better now that he's healthy. Mm -hmm. um, I think the Grizzlies can take this game. John Morant is a perennial all-star every year. And uh, yeah, I think that's an easy pick. Uh, okay. I don't think San Antonio's as good as people think. And uh, I don't think they're going to have a chance. All right. uh, Lakers, Grizzlies, there's no way the Lakers lose both games. Lakers are going to be in the 7 or 8 slot no matter what. Mm -hmm. Picking the Lakers here. Uh, I think LeBron's going to need the one game to get the rust off. Um, that's why I'm giving the Warriors a bigger shot to win than I am Memphis. Mm -hmm. um, but if the Lakers happen to beat Golden State, I still think Golden State beats Memphis, especially after you know what Golden State did to Memphis a few weeks ago, uh, a couple days ago. Right. Uh, same thing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But this is how I want to see the seats because Lakers Jazz round one. Can you imagine if LeBron is the eight seed and they make it to the NBA Finals as an eight seed? So they'll be the second team to do it since the Knicks, right? Uh, the Knicks. I don't think the Knicks were an eight seed. They were in the season that they made to the finals against the Spurs. They were the eight seed, really? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they were. Yeah, no other AC has made it to the final. Yeah, they were the only team that made it that were eighth to make it to the finals. I think that was like two thousand. No, it was nineteen ninety nine. Oh, nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Was that the year that the Heat lost to the to the Knicks after being up three games to one? Yes. I think the Heat were one. I think one or two that year. The Heat were one that year. I think. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, because Jordan was retired by then, I think. Yeah, the Heat were the number one. Oh, that was the that the was Allen the Houston shot. season. Oh, that was the sh oh because of the lockout. That, that was the lockout season. Oh, okay. But, um, 
yeah, they only played 50 games. The Heat, the Heat, the Pacers, and the Magic all were 33 and 17 in the East. But the Heat had the tiebreakers. That's why they were the one. Mm. And then the Knicks were the eight seed. They finished 27 23. And the Heat lost to the Knicks in five games because that back then the first round was five games. Correct. Mm-hmm. The Heat, they were the eight seed. Uh, the Knicks were the eight seed. They beat the Heat. Then they beat the brakes off of Atlanta. And they beat the brakes off of Indiana. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember that series well. That was fucking. Uh, uh, the Latrell Sprewell game where the Heat were supposed to win that game and then a bunch of bad calls happened. I, no, I could imagine that was Allen Houston shot, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That that year was the the Heat were gonna were were gonna play the Spurs in the championship. It would have been a, <laughs> that would have been a crazy series between the Heat and the Spurs that yes. year. But mm-hmm. I digress. Um, yeah. So I don't really count that. I mean, okay. it counts because it's it's a short season or whatever, just like these are. But fifty games versus seventy-eight games. Yeah, well, seventy-two games. Or seventy-two games. So. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, yeah. Uh, uh. I think I'm I'm taking the Lakers over the Jazz. Um. So this will be the. I want to say second. It's like the third, fourth time maybe that the A seed be the first seed. Uh, it, the last it's time very, was. Uh, it's very rare that the eight beats the one. I think the last time was the and Warriors. It's never, I don't think it's happened in an eight in a seven game series, other than the Warriors doing it to the to the game. Mavericks. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the only time that it happened in a seven game series. It happened in five game series before, but not in seven. Mm-hmm. Other than the one time, but. I, I, like I said, I think LeBron needs the one game to get the rust off against the Warriors, and then he's going to be cold mode. Mm-hmm. And I think the Lakers are out to prove a point, and that's why I have the Lakers winning the, the 1-8 matchup. Even, you know, and if they're right. in the 2-7 matchup, I have the Lakers winning the 2-7 matchup. Like, I don't right, think right. there's a way the Lakers don't win in the first round. Mm-hmm. But the reason I have it this way is because I have the Clippers winning over the Mavericks in six games. Mm-hmm. Of course, and the Battle of L.A. I have the Battle of L.A. in round two. Kawhi, LeBron, Pandemic Pete, AD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the Clippers are just easily a better, a more gifted team than the Mavericks. Uh, Luka Doncic is amazing, but it's not enough. Uh, you know, Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to have to play out of his mind in that series for them to have a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nuggets Blazers. Uh, I like Denver. Um, I think the I think it'll go seven games. I think the Blazers are gonna get a run for their money because again Jamal Murray's out for the rest of the year. Right. Um, but Jokic is just insane. He's been putting up fantastic numbers all year. If mm-hmm. Steph doesn't win the MVP, Jokic is gonna win the MVP. Um, and yeah, so. That, I think that one's an easy one. I think the Nuggets win that series in seven. Um, mm-hmm. You know, because I think Portland, they're, they're one of those teams that they're still sneaky good. Uh, Dame easily wins you two games. And I think McCollum gives you a third game. Mm-hmm. You know, that series could go five and it can go seven. So, Correct. You know, I don't think it's going to go six. It's either gonna, it's either going to go five or it's going to go seven. I don't think it goes six. Right. Uh, Suns Warriors. Steph versus Chris, Chris Paul. Paul. Yes. The Suns are good. Suns See, if only good. Clay Thompson was playing, then you would have Devin Burger versus Clay Thompson. Look, if Clay Thompson <laughs> was playing for the Warriors this year, the Warriors would have been a top four. Oh yeah, no, of course. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um I love you, Steph, but I'm taking the Suns here. Um, I think the Suns. I think this will be a six-game series. I think Steph will get them two games, but I don't think they'll get any further. I think they're just—they don't have enough pieces yet. Like with Steph carrying them on his back, yeah, that's great. But you know, mm-hmm. that's good for one game, maybe two. Like again, against the Lakers, it's one game. Steph can get you that one game, right? But I don't think Steph can get you a series like that. I want to see him prove me wrong, but I think the Suns have too much there. 
and mm-hmm. uh, so I'm picking the Suns. Okay. So I have Jazz Clippers, Nuggets, Lakers. You have Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Suns. All right, let's go back to the East. All right. In the East, we have the same except for I have the Hawks winning, you have the Knicks winning. Yes. All right, so Sixers, Knicks. Uh, Knicks had a good story. They had a good season. But this is where their story ends. I had the Sixers winning. Uh, honestly, if the Knicks would have been eliminated in the first round, I think their season would still have been a success. So them, so yeah, them being... One hundred percent. The Knicks. This is a successful season for them, regardless of whether they win a playoff series. Yeah. So, so they're playing with house money, and it, they just ran out against the Sixers, which is fine because they're gonna do well next season. If you know, if they still keep their same personnel, uh, and depending on what they do with their cap space. But uh, yeah, I have the Sixers winning here. Yeah, they have the most cap space in the NBA. Yeah, they're that's the what... only team that has more cap space than the Heat in the NBA going into the offseason. Yeah, so that's why I said. Uh, uh, this is house money for them. They can lose and still be in position to to do well be later. The top three seed next year in the East. Exactly. If mm-hmm. they pick up, if they pick up the right players. Correct. Uh, so yes, I have the Sixers going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Nets Heat. <sighs> I would be lying if I said that I wasn't concerned. Uh, if we had a Depot, this would have been a much more favorable matchup. But I, I, I don't, I don't want to say I don't have the guts, but I feel like maybe three of them, you know, the Kyrie, KD, and Harden, might be a bit too much. Maybe. Uh, yeah, you know what? I might have to go with the Nets. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I might have to go with the Nets on this one, honestly. It's not that I don't think that he could do it. They'll probably win seven, the Nets. And even then, I think the Heat, you know, like I would want the Heat to win, but I don't know. I just, I, I just think the Nets might have a little too much more than what the Heat can handle. And I know that he said they're not afraid of anybody, which is fine. But at the same time, you have to be realistic too. I mean, unless if you have somebody guarding Kyrie Irving, you know, and yes, Bam can guard all five positions. That's fine, but you still need someone to guard KD. You need someone to guard Harden. You need someone to guard uh, Kyrie. And if they prove me wrong, then then awesome. I I would love to be proven wrong, but I I, I just think the Nets will have a bit too much more for you know than he can handle. So I have the Nets winning in seven. Uh, you want to just continue on, or you want to do yours? Yeah, just put them to the Eastern Conference Finals. All right. Oh, you're at the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, okay. Let me just, just pick your winner. Yeah. So Sixers and Nets. Uh, that's actually a good matchup. Uh, I don't think the Sixers will be ready to handle the onslaught of uh, what the Nets have to offer. So I might have to go with the Nets on this one. I think the Nets pull out the victory in six. Uh, I don't I don't think I have that many reasons for it. Just, you know, when you have talent, the talent normally succeeds, you know, most of the time. So if you have the most talent, you have a higher chance of succeeding. And yes, they don't play defense that much, but who needs defense when you can score a lot of points, which is what they have the ability to do, so. Their defense is essentially their offense. So I have the Nets. Yeah. So I have the Nets winning, going to the finals. Really? Yes. All right. Well, uh, Sixers Hawks. I think this is a short series. Sixers win in five. The Hawks, they're going to get one. They'll they'll take the Knicks to seven, but uh, Mm -hmm. they're going to, they're going to just get the, the Sixers are just a much better team, and I, I do think 
uh, Trey Young can get him one game with John Collins, but and, and Clint Capella, but I don't think they're going to get past that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that one is the easy one to pick for me. Uh, the Sixers are really that good. And uh, now Heat's Nets. The Heat and the Nets played three times this year. Mm-hmm. Zero of those games had Jimmy Butler in them. Really? I didn't know that. Two of those three games had Kelly Olynyk and KZ Akpala starting for the Heat. Oh, yeah. One of the games, Bam had that game winner. Okay, yeah. Bam scored 41 mm-hmm. in the first game, and the Nets won by four. Bam scored 31 in the second game, and the Nets won by three. And this was mm-hmm. before what the Heat looked like now. Mm-hmm. And with what the Heat looked like now, the Nets lost to the Heat. And that was without Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. Bam made the last second shot. The Nets can't. The Nets do not have an answer to Bam out of bio. Jared Allen's really good. I like Jared Allen. No, no, no. But, no. He, wait, 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 wait. Jared Allen's on the on the Cavaliers now. Oh, that's right. He got traded. Never mind. They can mean Blake uh, Griffin or DeAndre Jordan. Yeah. How about no? Mm-hmm. They can't stop Bam. Mm-hmm. Um. I think. I think they, the the Heat are going to win this series. Okay. And I I think it's going to be a relatively it. easy series for them. I'm going to have them winning in six. I would love to see it. I would love to get um, proven wrong. The the Nets. They they yeah their best defense is scoring a lot of points. But in the three games against the Heat, they didn't score a lot of points. Like. Yeah, the first game they did, I think. Hold on, let me look to make sure. Yeah, the first game was a high-scoring game. It was 121, 128 to 124. Mm-hmm. But the other two games, they scored 98 and 107. That's not anywhere near their average. They averaged 120 points a game. Right. And none of those games were with Jimmy Butler. Uh, none of those games, except for the last one, had Trevor Ariza. Mm-hmm. Uh, or Dwayne Dedman. Remember when I true. said the Heat had the best record in the NBA since April 18th? Mm-hmm. That started with the lat with the shot that Bam, no, that Bam made took against yeah. the Nets. Okay. The Nets were the team that the Heat played after they lost that bad game in Minnesota, and mm-hmm. Jimmy Butler got on the, on the team's case. Mm-hmm. After okay. that happened, the Heat went ham. And they've been going ham since. And they have the best defense in the NBA since that point. Mm-hmm. All um, right. That's, that's a good case. That's a good, that's a good compelling case. All right. They lost. So I, I'm going to look at it. They lost one, two games, three games. They lost three. Okay, so they lost four games since April 18th. Three mm-hmm. of those games, Butler didn't play. Damn. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying. And Butler when, is the X factor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Butler is the X factor. Mm-hmm. And I, I like the Heat taking out the Nets in six. All right. Heat Sixers. This is gonna be a fun series. Oh yeah. Especially if, uh, uh, especially if uh, what last week or the week before taught us anything. Yeah, especially after the Heat beat the brakes off of the Sixers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun series. And you guys are going to say I'm a homer, blah, blah, blah. But no, until no, you, no, you're right. Until you beat the Eastern Conference champions, you are not the champions. Mm-hmm. And until I see somebody beat a Jimmy Butler-led Heat team in the playoffs, I'm not going to pick against the Heat. Mm-hmm. I think the Heat go to the NBA Finals again. Okay. I would love to see that. I think this is going to be another six-game series. I think mm-hmm. the Heat win all their series in six games. Okay. Um, except for maybe Milwaukee. They might win Milwaukee in five games. But I still, I still say six, but, you know. But um, I feel like the Heat with Jimmy Butler in the lineup are just a different monster. And... and if if Tyler Hero 
shows up the way that he's been showing up the last week. Kendrick Nunn's been playing out of his mind. Uh, Duncan Robinson always plays well, and he's developed a two-point game, which is amazing because, like, Baby, now, it, whoa, it, they're going to chase him off the three, drive, lay up in it. Exactly. Like, they, they can throw different things at you, and they're nine, they're the deepest team in the NBA. Like, they throw nine guys at you. Mm-hmm. And you have to stop them, and I don't think teams can right now. I don't think the teams know what to expect from the Heat because... They don't. They haven't seen a fully healthy Heat team until now, and you saw what they did to everybody while they were healthy. They were just blowing everybody out. Right. So, un- until you beat the champs, you you ain't nothing. I'm, I'm, I got the Heat coming out of the East again. All right. Well, I, I hope it happens. If you the Heat more... don't come out the East, the Sixers will come out the East. Right. I think those are the two only two options, honestly. Okay. Fair oh. enough. All right. For me, well, let's, let's, let's go to the West. For me, I have in the Jazz Clippers. Uh, I have the Clippers winning. Uh, I think uh, Paul, Pe- oh, not Paul Pierce, uh, Paul George. Paul George. Yeah, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. They're gonna they're gonna rectify what happened last year, losing in the second round. And I think uh, they'll they be were focused. Up three games to one. And lost that series because Paul George couldn't show up for one game in the last three years. Yeah, but I, I think this time is different though. I think he'll he'll snap out of it and actually be a productive player. So I have the Clippers beating so. the Jazz. Yeah, I have the Clippers beating the Jazz. Uh, probably in six. Or, I don't want to say five. Actually, five or six. They're gonna win in five or six. I think the Jazz are good, but I I, I just think. Uh, Kawhi and Paul George would be too much, especially if Donovan Mitchell's not 100% healthy, if he plays. So, I have the Clippers winning that. And then Nuggets Lakers. Unfortunately, that trade for Aaron Gordon is probably not going to do much because I think the Lakers are going to win. They're going to win that matchup. And so, they're going to have the Clippers, the Lakers, battle for LA. And unlike you having them in the semifinals, I have them in the conference finals. So I have that, and then, uh, and then ultimately the winner. Oof! Who do I want? Clippers or Lakers? Can, can you? So hmm. I want you to look at your stuff right now. Can you imagine if the, if the Lakers make it back to the finals and they play? Imagine if the Heat and the Lakers make it back to the finals. A six versus a seven, or in that'd my be case, hilarious. it would be a six for an eight. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. That would be insane. And so, and so, what if that ever happens? I don't want to hear no more talk. I don't want to hear no more talk about. I don't want to hear no more talk about you know bubble frauds from anybody. If that ever if that happened, not one word, not one peep. Look, if the heat. Get to the Eastern Conference Finals? I don't want to hear crap. Because, oh, the Heat earned his goods last year. Like, Mm -hmm. have you guys looked at their record with Jimmy Butler? And how they're the second best team in the NBA with Jimmy Butler in the lineup? Mm -hmm. Or in the East, sorry, not in the NBA. How they have a better record than Brooklyn and Milwaukee with Jimmy Butler playing? Are you going to tell me the Heat are not as good as last year? Come on now, stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop it. I agree. All right, Clippers, Lakers. Uh, I might have to. I might have to have the Lakers. I think this will just implode the Clippers. Kawhi. Will, I think he'll be. I think he'll be gone. If not gone, he'll probably just resign again. But I don't know. I think. I think the Lakers just have it. There's no way, especially you know they have Dennis Schroeder, Montrezl Harrell. Like I don't know. I, I just think the Lakers have it. They have the pieces, and not to say the Clippers don't, but I just think the Lakers' pieces are better. So, yeah. So I have the Lakers winning, and I guess for for dramatic sake, I, I have them winning in seven because that that actually might be a hard fought series. I mean, they don't have to travel either, which is exactly oh perfect. Yeah, so everybody will be fresh and relaxed. 
So, yeah. And, I was... and all, everybody on both teams get to sleep in their own beds. Exactly. So, no you know what? Lakers in seven. It's going to go seven games. Battle for LA. No excuses, dog. Just... Mm-hmm. So... You're going to think I'm absolutely nuts, but I have the Clippers beating the Lakers in seven. Ooh. That's spicy. And, um, I feel like the Clippers, they, they have something to prove. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I feel like Kawhi and, and Paul George, they, they, they need to get that bad taste out of their mouth from last year. Mm-hmm. And at least get to the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals, a place that the Clippers have never, ever been to. Could have sworn they weren't. Is, they weren't in the Eastern. They haven't been there. Never. Mm, okay. They've never been to the Western Conference Finals. Even with the Chris Paul Blake Griffin teams. Even with the Chris Paul Blake Griffin teams, they lost in the. They always lost in the semifinals. Okay. This is gonna be the first time they get there. Right. I'm predicting it right now. They're gonna get there this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the Clippers at seven. Uh, I, I do agree it's going to go seven. Uh, <laughs> there's yeah. no other way that that would go. And yeah. I know in a one game, you, you would always say, oh, LeBron over everybody else. But I think Kawhi is going to make I mean, in that I mean, I, go I wouldn't say LeBron over everybody else. Remember, Kawhi had that, that crazy shot a couple years ago against the Sixers. Yeah. So... You can't, you can't just say LeBron. You have to say Kawhi, too. Because yeah. Kawhi's in that conversation. It's funny. If Kawhi doesn't make that shot, Golden State wins another NBA title. Yep. So. Yep. Uh, Nuggets, Suns. I think this is where the Nuggets go down. I think the injury to Jamal Murray is going to be a little too much. Jokic is going to do his damnedest to get them to the, to the finals, to the Western Conference Finals. But... I think the Suns have a little bit too much for them. Mm-hmm. I think the Suns will win this series in seven. The home court advantage will play a huge deal in the Suns winning this game. Mm-hmm. And I want to see Chris Paul versus the Clippers. I want to see. Would, it. Yeah, that that that'll be a nice story. I want to see it. Mm-hmm. Suns Clippers. Again, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I have the Suns coming out of the West. So after, so, so after one season, Chris Paul takes his team, his newly his new team, to the finals. Mm-hmm. All right. I I think the Suns come out the West. The Suns will uh, win this series in seven as well. I think the home court will also be a factor. I think Devin Booker is going to play out of his mind in the playoffs. Chris Paul is going to do Chris Paul things because he's Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this this is my bombshell for the playoffs. I think the Suns come out of the West. All right. So then, if we're keeping score here, you have Heat Suns in the finals, and I have Lakers Nets in the finals. Let me just uh, let's do this. I'm just gonna put uh. The Suns here, and then I'm gonna put Lakers here. All right. So, in my NBA Finals, I have the Lakers winning in six games against the Nets. Mostly because the LeBron, he's been here before. He knows what to do. And of course, you can say the same thing about KD. He knows what to do. Uh, but I just feel LeBron has the better supporting cast um, when it comes to trying to defend his title. I mean, he has AD, Dennis Schroeder, uh, Montrezl Harrell, and even Andre Drummond. You know, I think he's going to be starting for them, and I, I think he might be a bit much for the Nets. Because God knows they cannot have DeAndre Jordan out there. And Blake Griffin, I yes, he's shown some flashes, but he's still not the same player he once was. So essentially you have Joe Harris, uh, 
Who else do they have? Uh, I can't even think of anybody else they have. Exactly. Yeah. So, and and if God forbid one of them goes down because you know they've been in and out of the lineup, you know Kyrie, Harden, and Durant. If one of them goes down, then their firepower is weakened. And so, I don't know. I just, I just have the Lakers winning. I have them being two-time champs, and it'll make sense. It may, it makes sense that them being the the Disney champions, whatever they they shut everybody up and win their second title. You know, not in a bubble. So, yeah, I have the Lakers winning in six. Um, Heat Suns. This this is gonna be one of the most fun series that I'll ever get to watch if it mm-hmm. happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look at the Suns. Jay Crowder, Miles Bridges, DeAndre. Oh yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's some storylines there. There's some storylines here. Devin Booker, Dario Saric. There's a lot of storylines. Mm-hmm. You know, Crowder going from the Heat to the Suns. Devin Booker, uh, the, Devin the the guy Booker. that everyone thinks that he should have picked instead of uh, Justice Winslow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Um, James Jones as. Oh yeah, Chris Paul. Finally getting to an NBA Finals. And Chris Paul supposedly. Uh, on the block to the Heat a couple years ago, but that yeah. was shot down. And then James uh, James Jones, the uh, what is he, the general manager of the Suns? Yeah, James Jones is the is the, the, the the general uh, the the system for talent relations, whatever that shit is called. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's you know it's a uh, it's an interesting moniker if this if this happens, and I really hope it happens. Like in my mind. When I was thinking about these, all the matchups that could happen, this was the one matchup that I saw. I was like, I really want to see this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you look at the Heat. You know, Jimmy Butler, Bam, Kendrick Nunn's finally playing. At, it's been playing out his mind since Oladipo went down. Uh, Ariza's been playing great. They picked up Dwayne Dedman again. I think Dwayne Dedman is like the biggest sleeper pickup of the entire uh, free agency. Mm-hmm. Um, Heroes finally back healthy, which I think is a huge thing for the Heat as well. Dragic mm-hmm. is healthy, you know. At the right um, time. Mm-hmm. At the right time. Everybody's healthy at the right time. And I feel like a healthy Heat team is probably the most dangerous team in the NBA because you don't want to play them. Exactly. Um, and the Heat beat the Suns in a seven game series. The answer is yes, they can, but will they? That is the question. Hmm. I feel like this is a different Heat team than when the Heat played the Suns the two times in the regular season. Mm-hmm. Um, I really want to pick the Heat here. I really want to pick the Heat here. I feel like... If the Heat win this series, they need to win in six games. Because if it goes to a game seven, I think Phoenix wins the series. Especially since he'll be in Phoenix. Man. You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that the Heat are going to win the series in six. Okay. Am I super confident in that? No. Because I think the Suns can easily win this series. But it's going to be a dogfight of a series. Just like how the Heat and Lakers were last year, it's going to be the same type of series. It's going to be a dogfight. But I think the Heat match up really well against the Suns. I think the Suns match up really well against the Heat, too. And they both play very good defense. They're both mm-hmm. good defensive teams. Uh, they both shoot the ball pretty well. Um, as long as... It, it's... it's I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, this is 51%, 49% that I'm picking the Heat. Because okay. it's literally like a 50-50 for me here. Mm-hmm. As long as, you know, no one from the Heat gets hurt again in the finals. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> if if everything happens and everybody stays healthy, I think the Heat can make another run to the finals and maybe even win it this year and get Jimmy Butler that elusive title. It's either Jimmy Butler gets the elusive title or Chris Paul gets the elusive title. One of them is getting that elusive title this year. Exactly. I'm going to pick the Heat, but again... Take that with a grain of salt. I think the Suns can easily also win this series. 
It's either going to be Heat and Six or Suns and Seven. I'll say it that way. Okay, fair enough. But like you said, 51 49 Heat. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. fair enough. All right, so I have the Lakers winning the finals. You have the Heat winning the finals. Uh, I think we went in completely two different directions when it came to uh, some of these matchups. But that's good. That's good that we have different opinions. So uh, let's just hope that the Heat win. I mean, I gave a different answer that's not the Heat, but I still want the Heat to win. You know, my heart says Heat, but my brain says, you know, Lakers. So... Let's see how that works. And we could both be totally wrong. We'll see what happens. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, everyone. That was our predictions for the play-in and the regular playoffs. Uh, BC Zero, do you want to tell them where they can find you at? And I'll leave some links down in the description. You guys can follow me on twitch.tv underscore BC underscore zero zero four eight four um i also have a youtube channel same moniker bc bc uh, underscore zero zero four eight four uh my youtube is more of a to do wrestling stuff and whatnot that we do together also um so i post videos now and then but the, the most important place where you can find me is twitch.tv slash bc underscore zero zero four eight four all right then so until next time, guys, uh, I don't know what we'll do next time. I think and for NBA-related stuff, maybe, I don't know. I, I might want to do something with the draft, but I'm not too knowledgeable with the draft. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do something. Maybe, like, the draft or or the free we'll agency. Yeah. Or if not, worst, worst case scenario, we'll just do, you know, our preseason rankings again. So. Yeah, well... We'll figure it out. There's still a lot of time. Um, well, maybe we'll come back and talk some football. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge football guy, but I'm not a huge football guy, but I don't mind, you know, delving into some football. Only if it's like the Dolphins. Like I'm, I'm, I guess if I'm not, if I'm knowledgeable on one team, it will be the Dolphins. And even then, that's like a stretch. So, but yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind doing some some football talk. We'll see what happens. But yeah. yeah. All right, then, guys. I am Dilo305. Signing out. Have a good one. Buenos nachos. And uh, see you next time. Deuces.